guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming an exciting video. It is my first palette purchase of January. I picked up the Papagraph Mothership Sublime Golden Opulence Palette and this was her Lunar New Year launch of 2020. And I wasn't planning on getting this, but I don't know, I got excited and I was like, okay, I'll just buy it. Um, it looks beautiful. I thought the shade was gonna be a much more brighter, vibrant red. And it wasn't, but that's okay. So let me go ahead and swatch this guy out for you guys really quick. I believe this is gonna come to Sephora, so I figured I would post this video in case you guys have been eyeing this palette. So here are the first five shades. There's only six shades, but obviously I don't have six fingers, so I can only do five shades at a time. And there's the first five. And then the last shade is this beautiful champagne shade. Now, if you guys don't own anything from Pat McGrath, this might be a really fun way to try some of her mattes and some of these beautiful shimmer shades she has. These definitely perform really well on the eyes. I did create this look with this palette and I definitely see this being a great neutral palette for somebody to use every single day. But I have quite an extensive Pat McGrath collection, so this one feels like just another palette to be very honest with you guys but before I blabber on let me show you how I created this look okay guys so the demo portion of this video is gonna be a little longer than usual a while ago I did a video where I asked you guys to give me your assumptions about me and I never actually filmed the video I just collected a few comments that came through with assumptions and never filmed it so I thought I would include it in this video I thought I've literally been carrying this piece of paper around for the, like months, so that's why we're doing this. So Emily said, I assume your job is less creative and makeup is a fun creative outlet for you. This is true. My job is, <laughs> it's interesting because I work in sales and marketing. And so I do get to exercise some level of creativity when it comes to like ad design and things like that. But makeup is obviously a whole nother ball game. I'm sure Emily can attest to that as well. So yeah, <laughs> it's not the same as makeup, but I do still get to, you know, use my degree a little bit in my day job, which is excellent and makes me feel like four years, five years of school was almost worth it, if you know what I mean. Dirty, dirty brushes every day. I wish I had an intern like Samantha March to come clean my makeup brushes. <laughs> Anybody know anyone that needs an internship for that kind of work? <laughs> Send them my way. Okay, the next one is Adair, I believe. Assume that you love Teddy more than your other pets. Um, I don't think I love Teddy more than my other pets. I think Teddy has the biggest personality in his own way. He's a very needy dog. We rescued him when he was about three years old and from the minute he was left at our house we just knew he was needy. It was so sad actually because he was like at our door crying when his foster mom left him here so I was really like scared for him because I didn't know if he was like very very attached or if he was gonna get over it or not. So Ever since then, he's just been a very needy pet, and our other dog is the opposite. She's very laid back and quiet, and she's like the older sister, like, and Teddy is like the needy baby brother. So I don't love him more. I just tend to pay him more attention because he requires more attention, if that makes any sense. And yeah, he's a character. He drives me crazy. He's so naughty. And he knows, like, I feel sorry for him. So if my husband ever tries to, like, discipline him, he'll, like, hide behind me and it drives my husband crazy because he's like, that dog knows that he can get away with anything when he hides behind you. So sometimes it can be a little tense for us. And, you know, it's probably not the right thing to do, letting him get away with things because he's really, really smart. I think it's his breed, we're not sure what he is, but I think he's like a poodle mix. He's like a doxy poo, I think. And poodles are notoriously smart. 
and as soon as they figure you out, they like manipulate you. And that's exactly Teddy's personality. So while I'm talking, I'm gonna do some makeup. Got the Golden Opulence palette here. Obviously, I'm gonna be super obvious and go into the neutral shade to start blending in the crease. And I'm using a Kaleidos brush, which they sent me with their highlighters. I assume you have a favorite go-to palette for everyday basis. For, yeah, for everyday basis. I don't. I think that it will be pretty impossible for me to do that with my eyeshadow palette collection. Um, some days I wish that it was easier for me that I could just only have one palette to reach for every day because that used to be the case like back in the day when I had like the Urban Decay Naked palette or something like that. But no, usually I am testing a palette or, you know, doing a makeup look with a palette. So I don't have like one go-to palette that I reach into every day, which is also why it's like pretty much impossible for me to do project pans. So I'm usually trying to use like a new palette pretty much on a daily basis or like going back and forth between palettes in my collection on a daily basis. The next one, I assume you prefer online shopping to in-store shopping. So it just depends. Like I love going to Target, but I also like to shop online. You know, sometimes it's just easier <laughs> to have stuff delivered to your house. I also like to do Target in-store pickup if I need something pretty quick. So I've got the Target app pretty much down. That's like the only store I really go to. Um, for in-store shopping, everything else, yeah, I'll shop online. So I'm taking this shade here, the dark brown, and just throwing that in my crease while I'm answering these questions for you guys. I'm a little bit out of breath. I feel like I need my inhaler, but I think it's in the car. So I'm just gonna <laughs> take weird breaths, I'm sorry. Next one, I assume your collection of accessories, necklaces, earrings, scarves, etc. is lar larger than your makeup collection. Mm, I think at some point, yes, it would have been, but I think my makeup collection is definitely larger than my accessories collection. I'm not really a big scarf person, and I was a big necklace person, but not anymore. I do love earrings, but I feel like I've kind of gotten so many that I'm trying to slow down on that realm as well because I don't need to keep accumulating the same colors over and over again in different styles. So I've kind of slowed down on that too. So the next assumption is from Heather Hernandez. She said, my assumption is you were wild before marriage, party animal, life of the party, drank a lot. So I definitely feel like I am the life of the party, um, but I actually don't drink like by choice. Um, I grew up in Sri Lanka and the drinking age there is 18 and my parents drink socially like it was never like this taboo thing or anything like that. I just don't like the taste of alcohol. If I drink it's usually like margaritas or tequila sometimes and usually like a very like a Moscato. I drink like this $15 Moscato that's really really sweet because I like sweet wines and it like makes my husband and my father-in-law so sad because they both love wine and Rail's dad actually has like a wine cellar in his house so he's like a huge wine connoisseur and I, I couldn't care less so <laughs> I'm trying to get into it because everyone always just says it's so good but I think wine tastes disgusting and beer tastes disgusting most hard alcohols I think taste disgusting so I just don't drink, but I definitely am the life of the party. I love to have a good time. I don't like to be a Debbie Downer and, you know, I just like to have a good time. Miss Blind Mom says, you are a very loyal friend until the other person does something to betray your friendship. Um, I haven't really had like any major betrayals in my life for the most part yet, thank God. Um, but yeah, of course, I think if somebody really like shook me to my core, I wouldn't want to stay friends with them. Um, Sarah ND says, I assume you're smarter than the average person. 
Like you probably spot all the grammatical errors in your comment section. That's really cute. <laughs> I'm the worst speller ever. So no, that's not true. I, I hate like grammar stuff because I'm so bad at it. <laughs> My husband nails me all the time for grammar. So usually if I have to send like a really important email or anything, I'll always run it by him because I'm terrible at spelling. <laughs> Okay, so we did our crease and now it's time to pick out a shimmer on the lid. Maybe I can do two shades. I think I might do some of this gold and red situation. Let's see how it goes. I got a flat shader brush that I cleaned for the occasion, if I can find it. Oh my God, how did I already lose it? I'm on the struggle bus today. Did I really just put it back here? Lord. Oh, I dropped it. <clears throat> okay, so while I'm trying to figure that out, the next assumption. Okay, somebody assumed that I got all A's in school and I'm a super sweet friend and a fun friend. I definitely did not get A's in school. I probably could have if I tried harder, but I didn't. And... I think that's a big lesson to tell people that are in school. Try hard. Trying hard is cool. You know, you can party later. You can have fun later. You can slack off later. If you're putting tens of thousands of dollars, especially into college, persevere, work hard. I didn't do horribly in school, but I could have done better. And there's nothing uncool about a scholarship. So... Definitely work hard. High school, college, it's worth it. It gets you places, it opens doors. All of those great things. <laughs> the next one, Beauty Butterfly Makeup Playtime says, my assumption about you is you are a very sweet person, soft-spoken. You love makeup and you would like to be a bigger YouTuber so people can see your love and creativity. I would love to be a bigger YouTuber, yes, I would. <laughs> Um, I'm not soft-spoken, I don't think. I definitely like to tell people what's on my mind. I don't go out of my way to be mean, but I definitely like to express myself. Um, and that's how that goes. It's probably one of my husband's favorite things about me as I speak my mind. I don't sugarcoat things. Could be his least favorite thing about me too, because sometimes he'll ask me a question, I'm like, don't ask me if you don't want an honest answer. So that's how I roll. And yeah. Paige Shaw says, You've done a lot of examining of your makeup stash and purchases, and you've set some rules because it has started to feel overwhelming. You love to sing as long as no one can hear you. You are always considered the nice friend, but you secretly wish more people thought of you as a badass. Um... I have done a lot of examining. That's still relevant. How awesome is that, Paige? Um, I'm definitely not the nice friend that secretly wishes that people knew I was a badass. I That goes back to just me like telling people how it is or me like not sugarcoating things. <laughs> so yeah, that's that. And then somebody said, you work in an office setting, customer service type job. Yes. Um, and then somebody said, you are the only one in your in-person friend group that is really into makeup and skincare. Yes. My friends do try. Some of my friends are so sweet. They really try to like pay attention and be supportive and give a crap. But yeah, for the most part, it's just me. But they love it when I give them like makeup gifts and stuff like that. So that's always nice. Like, my friend was in my room the other day and I was like, I was like, are you okay that I get you makeup every year? Because I can get you something else, but I figured that's what I'm good at, you know, so let me get you makeup. <laughs> um, and she said, yeah, no, I love it when you get me makeup. So that was really helpful feedback on my friend's part. Okay, I think this is the last one. Um, I also had some in a Instagram quote question, but I obviously, it took me so long to incorporate this into a video that 
I no longer have those questions saved. So the last one is, I assume you and your husband fight over how much money you spend on makeup. Um, we don't fight about it. Um, I, I don't know if we've ever fought about it. Actually, he's great. He's literally the reason I have a YouTube channel is my husband. If you guys um, would believe it, it's it's true. He used to edit my videos when I first started getting like, you know, on a schedule and stuff like that. So this would have been back in like 2016, 2015 when we were just starting out. And yeah, he would sit in um, our shared office at the time because we lived in a two bedroom apartment and help me film my videos and he would edit them for me too because I didn't know how to edit and then finally he got so sick of me um, being so demanding that he taught me how to edit videos and here we are like years later so no I would say that's a wrong assumption because he's very supportive and he's very supportive of the no buy now or the no buy low buy I've been on this month and he just, yeah, he's just very, very supportive and all he wants is for my channel to take off and for this to become like hopefully like a full-time thing. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's it for you guys' assumptions. This eye look is almost done. I just need to put my face on and stuff and I'll come back and do my lower lash line on camera for you guys. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. I know I said I was gonna come in and show you guys how I did my under eyes, but it wasn't that serious. I just did the same thing I did up top on the bottom. So I used the two shimmer shades and then I threw this shade in the inner corner just to like spice things up. And then on my face, I have a ColourPop bronzer as well as the BH Cosmetics. Um, this palette, I've been loving this. It's called Glowing and Grace and I think I got it for like 16 bucks on Ulta or like eight bucks. I think it was on sale or something like that, but it's super pigmented the highlight and the blush are both from This palette the only thing about this is I don't feel like it's like super long lasting and by that I just mean it doesn't like Last through a whole work day for me, which is typically like eight to nine to ten hours. So Keep that in mind if you're like a really long wearing makeup person, but Otherwise, I think it's a great face palette, super affordable. So just, just wanted to mention to you guys that as well. So as far as first impressions on this palette goes, I think it's a nice palette. Is it life-changing? If you are a collector of Pat McGrath palettes, definitely not. I think you can definitely skip this, especially if you just picked up her newly launched Star Wars palettes. Now, I do know this is coming to Sephora. I don't know if it has launched on Sephora yet, but uh, I will try and remember to link it for you guys if you want to shop through my link. It does help me out. Um, but yeah, it's just okay. I would, you know, have probably not purchased this if I wasn't really in the mood to buy makeup and I just got excited and it was my first palette purchase of 2020 so I thought hey let me try something Lunar New Year related so that was my bad and then if you guys haven't been following me for really, very long I am on a low buy for January and February so I'm only allowing myself to buy four eyeshadow palettes each month and that's a pretty big drop for me because some some months last year I was probably buying like four to five to six eyeshadow palettes a week so four a month is huge for me I've already purchased this palette as well as the Tati Beauty um, neutrals palette it was in stock this month so I thought hey let me pick it up and see what all the fuss is about I'm really really curious to know if that palette is as good as everyone says it is or is not as good as everyone says it is because there are opposing opinions on that and then I think for my third palette purchase I'm planning on picking up the Amrezy palette so we'll see how that goes and then the fourth one I haven't quite decided yet but I'm really really excited for this low buy yeah, other than that those are all my thoughts let me know down in the comments if you pick this palette up or if you are planning on skipping it let us know I love talking to you guys down there I will also link my merch in my description box if you guys didn't know I did launch some new merch and if you guys want to 
check that out as well. I would be super appreciative. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!